Patrick, I'm your lifetime star reporter, and I'm here with Chris Hazelwood. Cap Hazelwood. Can you tell me a little bit about the event? Well, this is an amazing event. It's our 12th annual Pamper and event here at Belt. They'd be amazing to host it for us. And um, we're real excited. It's an upbeat event. It's for anyone that knows anyone or is going through the challenges of cancer. Where can we find you on the internet? Uh, camper in event. Can you tell me a little bit of uh, a little bit about yourself and why you started doing it? Oh sure. Back in 2008, I had stage three breast cancer, and there had to be more people out there. I had girlfriends coming over and saying that they um, that they've been just diagnosed too. So there, we needed a bigger event to help more people, and then we chose this. Me and my girlfriends. Thank you so much for being here today. Bye. I'm Mary Elizabeth. What are you doing here today? I'm a volunteer for the event. I'm just helping out the different vendors and making sure everybody has what they need. Can you tell me a little bit about the event? The event is for breast cancer survivors. It's a fashion show, and all of the models in them um, are survivors of breast cancer. Where can we find it on the internet? Is there any Not really. This is the last year the event has been going on, but it has been going on for a couple of years. Thank you so much for being here today. Goodbye. Patrick, I'm your lifetime star reporter, and I'm here with Daisy the Clown. What are you doing here today? I am supporting a great cause, cancer. Can you tell us a little bit about yourself? Well, I've been clowning around since about 2008. Um, I do shows for preschoolers, seniors, singing telegrams. Um, a little bit of everything. Face painting, balloons. I've been doing cheek art today where we've been painting the um, ribbon. Where can we find you on the internet? Ooh, M-I-Z-DaisyEntertainment.com Can you tell us um, what inspired you to start doing this? Well, life got to be a little too stressful and I wanted to laugh more. And when I was 10 years old, I was in Circus World, Florida, and I got my face painted as a clown. And I remember driving home and waving to everybody and how they responded. So the memory just came up when I needed it. So I started to learn how to be a clown. And I see you have a ukulele. Can you play something for us? I would love to. Would you like a silly song? Sure. Okay. Well, I had a little chicken in the wood lane. <laughs> so I poured hot water up and down in the lane. And it wiggled and it jiggled. <laughs> breast cancer symbol and that was like just a quick little stencil thingy huh how cute is that hey, when I have when I have large events and we need to turn around really fast some of these designs are really they aid in speed that's and awesome Wow, what kind of cookies are they? They are. Ooh, and they look yummy. We'll have to try some of those. Where can we find you on the internet? Facebook is called the Pampering Belt Pampering Event. This is our 12th year, and it is our final one. We're not going to have another one. Aww. No, it may change, but it hasn't been contacted a lot. Thank you so much for being here today. Thank you very much. I'm Sandra Fredovich with the American Cancer Society. What are you doing? Today, we are representing American Cancer Society. All the funds raised for the fashion show are coming back to ACS. What inspired you to do this? 
Uh, well, I am a community development manager with the American Cancer Society, and I'm very passionate about finding a care they would give them. Can you tell me a little bit about Cancer Society? So the American Cancer Society is the number one non-governmental uh, funder of cancer research. That means we raise money for cancer research. We also give uh, programs and services to cancer survivors and their caregivers. Did I already ask for to find me on the internet? You can find us at uh, cancer.org. Thank you so much for being here today. Goodbye. I'm your lifetime star reporter, and I'm here with Carol Hughes. What are you doing here today? I'm with Arts Ensemble, and what we do each year is we put out blank canvas, and we let everyone that's participating come up and clean a ribbon, either for themselves as a cancer survivor or for someone that they care about. So I think it would be great for you to do one. That's really exciting. Where can we find you on the internet? You can find us under Arts Ensemble Education Foundation. Gift card, $25 gift card from I know that seal is over there. Pardon? Is that right? Everybody likes Snoopy. Yes, you're totally right. I think this is. Um, Olivia Bingham. I don't know what purple is. But. I don't think it's Yeah, you got it down. The purple one, isn't that for um, uh, the abuse awareness? Domestic violence. Well, but there's different colors for cancer. Yeah. I have a whole chart at home, too. It tells what each one is for. I figure whoever paints the color probably knows what it is. Are they right? It's a little tricky, but just think you're painting like a fish. <laughs> there you go. Mm, it's the same color as your nails, Madeline. Very nice. Very cool. I'm here with Deborah Winters with doTERRA Essential Oils. What are you doing here today? We are here to show cancer survivors and the general public and educate about using doTERRA Essential Oils and how they can help you live a heavy, healthy lifestyle. Where can we find you guys on the internet? Well, we all have our own web pages, but if you just Google doTERRA Oils, that will direct you. What, in, what inspired you to start doing this? Helping people. We're all about helping people to get healthy and stay healthy. Thank you so much for being here today. Goodbye. You're welcome. Bye bye. I'm Sarah Porter and I'm Sarah. Sarah. Do you need What do you guys do? Just for the the Where can we find you guys on the website? Can you tell us a little bit about um, Guestwork Clinic? We're a multi-specialty clinic with several different physicians. We have full range of treatments, x-rays, lab, uh, pain management. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you so much for being here today. Bye. So what all you got in these bags? This is a uh, device for finding lumps in breasts so people know what they're looking for. This is a hot and cold compress. This is a magnetic clip and bracelets. We have a pen, a uh, nail file, and last but not least is a keychain. That's beautiful. I think it's for the ladies and the children to come through and a bag to carry. How nice is that? Yeah. Thank you. This is the 2019 Pampering event, and you're listening to the Madeline and Mommy Show. Yeah.